Well, diving into a swimming pool on a day like today can certainly be refreshing, but when it comes to the cost of maintaining the pool, of course, not so much. As Heather Mills reports, inflation, supply, and low stock continues to plague pool, pool owners. But the question is, is there an alternative? Now the price of chlorine is up 20 to 30 percent from last year as the nationwide shortage continues now into its second year. But not all pools use chlorine. There are some advantages to using salt water. Temperatures are soaring, but so are the prices to keep your pool up and running. What used to be 20, 30 dollars for a jug is now 100, 130, 140, 150 dollars. Chlorine, both liquid and tablets, are not only more expensive, but also harder to find as the nationwide shortage continues. Cliff Maltzman owns a pool company. He says it could be a while before things are back to normal. It's caused partly by a supply problem because the nation had most of its chlorine made at one particular plant in Louisiana and they had a uh, they were damaged by Hurricane Laura in 2021. They were supposed to be back online in 2022. Now that's been delayed until 2023. The other factor driving demand, more people bought pools during the pandemic. Construction increased 25% in 2020, but Maltzman does say over the last several years, more people have also switched to salt water. You can't taste the salt in the water, but we do put a certain amount of salt in the water. And then there is a, uh, a machine that comes with the pool that transforms that salt that's in the water into chlorine. If you're looking to convert, it's the initial cost that will add up. A couple thousand dollars and then you never have to buy chlorine or chlorine shock. Annually, the cost of salt water tabs will be less than 100 bucks and you can compare that to chlorine, which could cost as much as 800. Heather Mills, live local now.